Exodus 1, 1 through 7, Jacob's descendants in, in Egypt. These are the names of the sons of Israel who came to Egypt with Jacob, each with his household, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, and Benjamin, Dan, and Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. All the offspring of Jacob were seventy persons. Joseph was already in Egypt. Then Joseph died, and all his brothers, and all that generation. But the descendants of Israel were fruitful and increased greatly. They multiplied and grew exceedingly stronger, so that the land was filled with them. Overview Soul designates the better part of a person, and hence the whole person. The figure used is a, is a synecdote, which in which a part stands for the whole. The Hebrew name Joseph means increase, Cassiodorus. The people of Israel increased greatly only after Joseph's death, just as Christians increased greatly in number only after the Christ's redeeming death. Caesarius of Arles. 1.5. Jacob's offsprings were 70 persons. Soul means person, Cassiodorus. Scripture often substitutes soul for men. As in Exodus, there went down to Egypt seventy-five souls. The whole man is to be understood from his better part. An example of synecdote, Cassiodorus. The expression, their souls, must be interpreted as meaning the men whom he is known to have slain in that calamity. The words of Exodus attest that the soul stands for the whole person, as we have said, so all the souls that came out of Jacob's thigh were seventy. This expression is the result of the figure of a synecdote, which signifies the whole from the part. The meaning of the name Joseph, Cassiodorus. Joseph means increase. The interpretation of this name is testimony to the Hebrew people who came out of the land of Egypt in increased numbers. 1-7, the descendants of Israel were fruitful. Joseph is a type of Christ, Caesarius of Arles. We have heard in the lesson which was read, dearly beloved, that when Joseph was dead, the Israelites were exceedingly fruitful and prolific, and they sprang up like grass. What does this mean, brethren? As long as Joseph lived, the children of Israel are not recorded to have increased or multiplied very much, but after he died, they are said to have sprung up like the grass. Surely they should have increased and multiplied more when they were under the patronage of and protection of Joseph. These words were prefigured in that Joseph, dearly beloved, but in our Joseph, that is, in Christ the Lord, they were fulfilled in truth. Before our Joseph died, that is, before he was crucified, few people believed in him. But after he died and rose again throughout the world, the, world, the Israelites, that is, the Christian people, increased and multiplied. Thus even the Lord himself says in the Gospel, Unless the grain of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it brings forth much fruit. After the precious grain of wheat died and was buried through the passion, from that one grain a harvest of the church sprang up throughout the world. Not as formerly, former, formerly was God renowned in Judah alone, nor is his great name worshipped only in Israel, but from the rising of the sun unto the going down, his name is praised.